Welcome back. In honor of Black History Month, we're taking a look back as to where we stand as a community today, but first we must look at how far we've come. Local author Arthur Mack is looking at how leadership has affected the civil rights movement and how we can all make progress. Good afternoon. Oh, hello, Kelly. How are you doing? Good. Good to have you. Yes, yeah, great to be here. You know what? This is so important. This is a, a month that's important to so many people. Let's talk about the civil rights movement from the 60s and 70s. Where, what have we come from? Oh, we come from a very long ways, Kelly. There were three major developments during the 60s and 70s that paved the way for uh, change in Mobile. Uh, one of them was the Bertie Mae Davis case, uh, spearheaded by John L. LaFleur, uh, who was the head of the Nonpartisan Voters League. Also, you had um, you know, the neighborhood organized workers, uh, headed by Noble Beasley. Uh, they were a force to be reckoned with when it came to civil rights in Mobile, uh, creating more opportunities for African Americans, more rights uh, for African Americans here in Mobile. Mm -hmm. And also, you had um, the uh, Bolden versus City of Mobile case, uh, which uh, challenged the way uh, government was being run. During the 60s and 70s, you had a three-member commission form of government. And at the same time, uh, the school board district was uh, an at-large district you know, chosen at-large as well which meant that it was virtually impossible to get any type of African-American representation. So those are the three things that went on during the 60s and 70s. And really, if it wasn't for those, God knows where we would be right now. Mm -hmm. And you know, in books like this, the one that you brought, The Genesis and Exodus of Now, written by now City Councilman Richardson, you know, you've read this book. Yes. Tell me what the message that comes out of this book that came out in 1978. Power cannot be achieved without a struggle. Mm -hmm. And the struggle affects so many people. You talk about Absolutely. the importance of leadership um, for people of color, but that of course uh, boosts the confidence uh, of those that, that call Mobile home. We talked about where we are, where, where we've been, where are we now? Okay, really we're at a crossroads. Uh, even though uh, the city gov type of city government changed where there could be uh, African American representation, and that took place in 1985, even though the Verde Mae Davis case was finally settled in 1997, um, you know, you still have uh, problems, not only uh, in city government, but also uh, individually. Uh, we still have instances of African Americans being mistreated. Um, in the school system, there have been complaints about uh, black students being disappointed proportionately uh, being sent to retract classes, mm -hmm. uh, things such as that. Okay, and progress is happening across the board, so that is the good news. You have a Facebook page that people can find you if they want more information on how to reach you. You're a local author. Thank you for joining us. Uh, thanks. You bet. Thanks. You bet. There's the book right there. We'll be back with more after this.